stop and gaze upon the majesty of the Memphis Bass Pro Shops Pyramid. I'm not the only one out here getting photos this morning. This thing is majestic. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Memphis, Tennessee, right on the border of Memphis and Arkansas. The Mississippi River is just over here. This 320-foot-tall pyramid in the middle of downtown Memphis has been an obsession of mine over the last several months. My dad recently took a trip out to Memphis and he said, Eric, you gotta check it out. They have a freaking Bass Pro Shops in a pyramid in downtown. I said, what, what kind of fever dream were you having, dad? But then I did my research and this thing has a heck of a story behind it. Built in 1991, originally as a basketball stadium slash entertainment complex, the Great American Pyramid, as it was called then, then sat abandoned for most of the 2000s. That is until Johnny Morris repurposed the building to fit an all new Bass Pro Shops experience. This is the first time I've ever been to Memphis. I'm just stopping here on my way to Nashville for the Nashville Super Speedway NASCAR race weekend. But a 320 foot tall Bass Pro Shops pyramid store I had to stop and check it out. Like I said, I've been obsessing over this thing for several months ever since I heard about its existence. Let's go explore and check it out together. It's a little different from my channel, but you know, come along and join me on a on a Bass Pro Shops adventure. Well, the main entrance looks similar to other Bass Pro Shops I have been in. Oh, that's right, they have a hotel in here as well. I thought about staying in there, but it was over 250 bucks a night, but the Big Cypress Lodge. I'm sure that would have been fancy. Whoa, it's a gargantuan fireplace. They had like a guide when you walked in, like it's a theme park or something. Welcome to paradise. Whoa. My eyes haven't quite adjusted from the bright outdoor sun, but when you look up into the sky, I'm sure the camera is gonna show the framework really clearly to y'all. It's good and low light, but it looks dark. Here, I'll try to like, I'll try to adjust the brightness. This, this is kind of like what it looks like to me. It looks like the night sky just keeps on going and going. But check out these cypress trees. Also massive elevator shaft there in the center of the pyramid. We'll have to check that out later. This is kind of overwhelming in here, wow. I've only walked like 10 feet into paradise as they call it, and they have ponds here with actual fish inside. Wow, just floating around. Like check this out, this is built right into the floor. Look, it just recedes down into the water like, a, like an actual natural occurring lake or pond would. I could just walk right in and take a quick dip if I wanted to, but I won't. That's probably the quickest way for my Bass Pro Shops adventure to come to a premature end. Ooh, I hear something over here. They got an old school shooting arcade in here. Oh, I gotta give this a try. Only 50 cents for 25 shots, let's rock and roll. Ooh, got one. Look at the gator. He's coming out of his hole. Oh, he's angry. Oh, yeah, he's going back in. He doesn't want the smoke. There's many more shots where that came from, Gator. Ooh. Ooh. Not a great score, but uh, we had fun. 140, what's that mean? Take lessons? Oh, gosh. Not, not, a, not a great start to my uh, hunting career. That's pretty cool, though. Old school shooting arcade. This is so cool. They just have so many little ponds with real fish in them everywhere you look, as well as the lookout. That's what this freestanding 28-story tall elevator shaft going up deep into the Tomb of Doom leads to. I think we're gonna have to check that out. That gives you a great view of the Mississippi River and downtown Memphis. Just like any other Bass Pro Shops you might go to, they have plenty of wildlife scenes staged and set up. And do I hear some running water? My ears did not deceive me. Yes, we do. They have a waterfall in the middle of the store. Wow, get a load of that. Oh my, it just keeps going. I'm a real sucker for this kind of stuff. I love going to theme parks. Look, I'm in a cave now, and you can hear my voice echoing. I love going to theme parks. I love seeing set pieces like this brought to life. I really, I really love that kind of thing. This is spooky in here, whoa. There's a little hole in the wall right here. Oh my, more water falling down. This place is full of surprises. Oh, a turkey, a wild turkey stalking me as I exit the cave. Those beady little eyes. November can't come soon enough, my friend. I'm focused on all the scenery and the extra stuff, but this does have all your typical Bass Pro Shops paraphernalia. Fishing stuff, more fishing stuff, clothes, bamboo wind chimes, cornhole, armadillas, and much, much, much more. The swamp aesthetic is super duper cool. 
I love that there are real fish in there and I love that you can just get right out over it. It makes it feel super natural. Oh, that's a big, there's some big fish in there. Look at that, whoa, whoa. I really do appreciate the theming effort, the whole swamp look, and the lighting, especially from this blue elevator tower really adds to the to the mood of course no bass pro would be complete without at least one massive aquarium whoa that's awesome there's so much more to this place let's check out the second story you know this building like i said was originally built to be a basketball stadium and they were going to build like a whole like museum up higher up in the pyramid they do have an observation deck and restaurant and bar at the top now but for many years a lot of that never came to fruition they did operate this place as a basketball stadium for many years in fact even the memphis grizzlies briefly played here the nba team in town but for many years this place sat effectively abandoned bright sun films on youtube did a great video on this a few months ago so go check it out if you want the full history of the pyramid or as some basketball players called it the tomb of doom given the daunting dark and high vaulted ceiling <laughs> yeah i mean just walking around here anytime i look up it's like you get kind of vertigo or like the opposite of vertigo maybe all right we've made it to the second floor mostly just more shopping stuff but take a look at this view wow you can get a really good view of all the fish in these little ponds in the marsh that's so so crazy it's even crazier when you look up again this camera is going to help you guys see the framework of the pyramid which actually is really interesting to see but i'm telling you when you're here in person it's even darker than this which definitely gives you kind of an unsettling feeling whenever you look up you know except for that big glowing like disco ball light there in the center lighting all the scenes that kind of just looks like that's like the moon that is like the sun in this uh in this set we've created here also you know how i mentioned this was originally built to be a basketball stadium that big cypress lodge all around the building those are all the rooms and they are built on the existing concrete framework that was used to hold up the upper levels of the grandstand so they repurposed a lot of the same you can see the concrete columns and whatnot for the uh the hotel that yeah look looks in there's the balcony looks in on the entire store that's that's a unique hotel experience ah yes i want a room with a view ah what do you want your view to be a massive retail store you got it sign me up but hey in fairness this view is unlike that of really any other department store that i have been to you know because it's dark in here and because it's even a little cooler in here than it was outside in the hot tennessee heat sometimes i think it's real like it takes my brain a second to remember that okay this is all staged this is all designed by artists it's not every day you're working with a massive metal pyramid so credit to them this is pretty awesome the bass pro shops opened in 2015 but they originally began talking about moving into the pyramid all the way back in 2005 so it took roughly 10 years for them to come to an agreement finance the project design and then finish building this actual expansion or i guess renovation is the correct word but it's pretty dang cool now whoa would you get a load of this they have a oh, baby alligator look at him just kind of floating there there's two of them but this dude was floating around just taking it easy Whoa, that's pretty cool right here in the center of the store wow oh yes they've got a restaurant and a bowling alley oh <laughs> fish bowl i get it Ooh, i like neon though uncle bucks let's check it out i don't even know if it's open yet it's still pretty early in the day the theming continues into the bowling alley oh yeah nice shot all over the ac vents they've got algae and other you know, plant life growing that's so cool i feel like i've been press ganged into davy jones's crew this is so awesome whoa okay this is the kind of theming and stuff the attention to detail this is what i this is what i live for this is like disney level level detail right here in one of the side seating rooms they have another aquarium in the center gorgeous whoa i didn't see this spooky dude looking down at me while i was admiring the fish oh i don't like that oh that's that's sketchy Ugh. looking like some sort of scooby-doo villain this is just so impressive and it goes through the entire bowling alley portion of the restaurant at the very least i just love that that's so neat oh and i didn't even look at the bowling ball dispensers oh. 
<laughs> you're kidding me. No, this this can't be happening. Are you joking? Dude, hey, if you don't want kids, you know, you're not supposed to reach your hand into here. That's dangerous. Hey, put a massive shark with sharp teeth there. That'll scare the kids away. Hey, it's just a smart safety precaution. I, I appreciate that. Jeez. I keep expecting the theming to end, but even over here by like you know, the employee only area, it's still themed. I want to decorate my room like this with fish and sharks hanging from the ceilings, algae, sea anemones, sea urchins, starfish growing and living all around me. That's pretty awesome. No time to bowl or eat, unfortunately. I gotta be in Nashville soon, but that was awesome to check out. I could get lost just looking at all the fine details for probably an hour or two easily. All right, I think it's high time we take the journey to the top of the Tomb of Doom, the Great American Pyramid. This place has like a million different names, so just roll with it. Stepping off the elevator, here's the bar they have. Whoa, I love the rusty metal, like steampunk looking fish around the bar, <laughs> that's so awesome. With, of course, a real, I think that's a real fish tank in the middle, yeah, those are real fish. Not made of old car parts. <laughs> oh, this is so cool, let's check it out. Oh, whoa, look at this. The Mississippi River right there, I don't know the name of that bridge, but that's a very iconic Memphis landmark. All the land out in the distance, that's Arkansas. Everything to the left here, Tennessee. Downtown Memphis. If I keep looking, this is east now. At least the more I turn, the more you're looking straight east. Yeah. Wow. Gosh, it's sunny, it is bright. And everything like reflects off of the, all the metal, all the glass and all the metal, but wow. What a view. Look, there's me, woohoo! Loving the, the pyramid. I was wondering if you'd be able to see the FedEx Forum from over here, but I believe it's blocked by a lot of these buildings. That's where the uh, Memphis Grizzlies play now. That's the new NBA, newer NBA stadium that basically replaced the original purpose of the pyramid. Oh shoot, and I hadn't looked straight down, but look, that's the Bass Pro Shops, the massive Bass Pro Shops logo. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this angle. I feel like I could just go sliding right down this. Ooh, okay, backing up, backing up. Ooh, I don't like that. I just can't get over how random this pyramid is. That's why I had to check it out. You know, Bass Pro Shops is cool. You know, I'm a NASCAR fan. They do a lot of NASCAR stuff. Outdoorsy, it's great, it's great. But the fact that they built this thing into an existing urban pyramid, <laughs> that's just crazy to me. I had to check it out. I had to check it out. When in Memphis, visit the pyramid. What a view, wow. They've actually got a second lookout deck facing the Mississippi. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to go out here. Nobody else is. Well, we're squeaking out here. Anyways, wow. What a view of the Mississippi River. Oh, and this spider web. How'd you get all the way up here, buddy? That's impressive. Hell of a climb. Great view of this bridge, which I just noticed is actually closed. Also great view of a bunch of apartments right along the river. Wow. You can see for miles and miles and miles. Looking out, now I gotta get my orientation correct here. I believe that is the state line, like that bridge is basically the state line into Arkansas. I grew up in Texas, so I've been over the Mississippi River many, many times. I've never been up this far north between Arkansas and Tennessee. Honestly, I kinda forgot that Tennessee and Arkansas even share a border. <laughs> but hey, better late than never. Now, man, that sun is brutal. I can't believe I forgot my sunglasses, but thank you guys for checking out this random video. I'm on my way to Nashville for the Nashville Super Speedway Ally 400 race weekend. I'm gonna be taking y'all behind the scenes, showing y'all the garage area once again, the infield pit road, the racetrack. It's a new track for the NASCAR Cup Series. It's a track that hasn't been raced in NASCAR in more than 10 years, so I'm very, very excited for that. Next time you see me, I will be at Nashville Super Speedway taking y'all along for the ride alongside. But I hope you enjoyed this detour to visit the Memphis Pyramid, the Great American Pyramid, the Bass Pro Shops at the Pyramid, the Tomb of Doom, I, the Tomb of Doom, that's my favorite line for it, I like that. Whoa, look at that pit down there, sorry. It just keeps going into darkness. Okay, okay, I got it in this video. Thanks for watching, y'all. I will see you again very, very soon.